Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dress Gaming and today we're back with Pokemon VGC 2016 and we are here with the team from the team builder last week of Lugia, Xerneas, Amoongus, Swampert, Heatran, and Hydreigon. Now if you guys did not see that team builder link will be in the description below so be sure to go check that out if you want to learn how I built these Pokemon. But we're just going to hop in. Um, I haven't used this team in a little bit because of Christmas and all that stuff but it worked pretty well when I did use this. Hopefully we can continue to make it work. Heatran I didn't really use, so I don't know how much we'll keep him around. But let's see what we can do here. We're going to jump into a battle. Hopefully we're going to jump into a battle. Maybe we'll just like kind of lightly hop. Maybe. There we go. We got somebody here with a Golduck, a Zekrom, an Azumarill, a... Kyogre, Swampert, and Aegislash. So pretty heavy rain team here. I could bring my own Swampert, but I don't know how much it'll do in this battle. I, Earthquake's good against Zekrom and Aegislash, so I could go with my own Swamp. I could go with Lugia. Got a lot of physical attackers, though, and I don't know how much Lugia's going to do against the rest of his team here. Uh, he's got Ice Beam for the Zekrom and Aero Blast for everything else, so maybe we will go with Lugia. Um, I'm thinking Amoongus Lugia is a good lead though, so let's do that. We can bring Swampert in the back as well. We could go Hydreigon. Or, actually, let's go with Xerneas. Xerneas should be fine here. So we've got Amoongus and Lugia against Kyogre and Swamp. So there's the Primordial, primordial Sea. Um, I'm going to use Spore on the Kyogre. I'm just going to call mine with Lugia here. Hopefully he doesn't double the Lugia. I'm sus expecting, not su suspecting, expecting uh, to, for one of them at least to go after Amoongus. He's going to Ice Beam Lugia. It's not going to do very much because we did out speed. And he Ice Punches Amoongus. Perfect. So he's going to get that Rocky Helmet. I'm going to put the Kyogre to sleep. And we're going to get some leftover recovery from Lugia. Now I can just Spore again on Swamp. I can just call mine again. He's going to Ice Punch the Amoongus again. Get some more Rocky Helmet. And he does freeze my Amoongus, unfortunately. But I do get another Calm Mind up. <clears throat> Kyogre's going to sleep. And Amoongus is going to stay frozen. Perfect. Perfect, Amoongus. Perfect. Well, I'm going to try and Rage Powder here. Am I... Let's actually try and protect. Oh, I'm going to Rage Powder. And Arrow Blast the Swampert. I stay frozen. Swampert's going to Ice Punch Lugia now. That's why I wanted to get that. Ah, uh, really? Get out of my face. Stupid. 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 Sorry about that mix-up on the screen there, but... I can't control when my computer wants to pop stuff up. Alright. So, now I just bring in my own Swampert, I think. I think I just bring in my own Swampert. Actually, I'm going to bring in Xerneas. To bring in the Xerneas. I think we just go... F well, he could just waterfall me. I'm going to protect my Xerneas. And I'm going to arrow blast the Swampert. I think he's going to... Oh, he just protects. Okay. Nice play on there. And Aeroblast isn't going to do anything, and Kyogre goes for the Origin Pulse. Lugia should eat that. Doesn't exactly eat it, but also doesn't not eat it. I'm going to try and Geomancy. I think it's worth it. I'm going to Roost with Lugia. He just Ice Punches Lugia. So Lugia will get his Roost off, and will also get the Geomancy off. Perfect. And then I expect Kyogre to just go for the Origin Pulse. He actually goes for Thunder on Xerneas, strangely enough. Origin Pulse would have done more. Now I can just Dazzling Gleam, and I can Roost again with Lugia. And Lu this is what Lugia does. It gets set up, and then it just lives forever. Kyogre's going to protect here, but Xerneas does outspeed Swampert, so see a Swampert. When, it's, when I'm at plus two, it's going to outspeed the Swampert. And Roost brings me up to full with Lugia. He's going to bring out Aegislash, which isn't great. It's not great. I do have my Swampert, but I 
can't just switch in. I'm just gonna ge uh, did I just turn Geomancy? Dazzling Gleam. I guess we try and Arrow Blast the Age of Slash as well. Actually, I should Arrow Blast the Kyogre, because once we get rid of Kyogre, um, we can, uh, Hidden Power Fire the Age of Slash. He's gonna Thunder Lugia, which he gets the critical hit, so he's able to get a bunch of damage off. Does he also Shadow Ball? Nope, he Flash Cannons the Xerneas, so Lugia's gonna be able to live another turn, because we're, I'm gonna Roost here. I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam again, and then Roost with Lugia. Age of Slash is going to King Shield, so that's fine, we'll... We'll have plenty of life then for the next turn. Get a bunch of damage off from Kyogre. Rugia loose up. Roos up. Did I say Rugia? Lugia roos up. And, an and another Thunder and Lugia, but now it's not special. It's not uh, super effective. And also, we just get rid of the. Um, it doesn't crit us, is what I'm trying to say. Protect on Xerneas, and then I can just Arrow Blast Kyogre. He might protect Kyogre here. He does. But we get uh, Age of Slash into shield form, which is all I really need. And he tries to flash cannon Xerneas again. He does try to flash cannon Xerneas again. I think he's going to protect his Age of Slash. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam and Roost. He actually doesn't. I could have taken out Age of Slash's turn, but... But whatever, I'm gonna roost. He shouldn't kill me with flash cannon. Yeah, he doesn't kill me because we are a plus two special defense. Then Golduck comes in. Why'd he bring Golduck? He really had no reason to bring Golduck at all. I can just Dazzling Gleam and Arrow Blast on the Golduck. Because he has to protect his Aegis Slash, otherwise dies. Not that it'll live uh, next turn in shield form anyway. But Dazzling Gleam takes out Golduck anyway. That's no problem with the Golduck, it's a little too frail. It does one-shot... Um... It does one-shot Kyogres, but it's... Or not Kyogres, Groudons, but it's a little frail. And we get our first win here. Just toughening it out with Lugia and Xerneas. Uh, we see another Zekrom. I've been seeing a lot of Zekroms today, apparently. Two already, with a Kyogre. Another Rain Team. Also has Mawile, uh, Lipard, Crobat, and Ludicolo. Ludicolo. So I think we go Xerneas here. Xerneas Amoongus. Lugia. And Swamper. We go to the same team. Different order. Same team. Um, I expect him to lead with Lipard. That's why I didn't lead with Lugia. There's Lipard. And Zekrom. Perfect. I can just Dazzling Gleam. Does he fake me out? I'm gonna protect and spore the Lipard, expecting a fake out on the Xerneas, and then an attack with Zekrom. There's a protect fake out, fake out. Yes. No, he fakes out a Moongus though. And then he's gonna Tailwind with Zekrom. So now he could encore my Xerneas. So I'm gonna bring in Swampert. I'm going to Giga Drain. I'm going to bring in Swampert and Spore Lipard. Bring in Swampert, Spore Lipard. That should work. Because I'm expecting Lipard to encore Xerneas in the Protect. Yep, perfect. And Zekrom goes for Draco onto Amoongus. And I'm going to Spore the. Lipard. I was expecting like an electric type attack into into the uh, Swampert slot, but he went for Draco straight away. So I'm going to Earthquake and I'm going to protect my Amoongus. He's going to protect Zekrom here, but Earthquake's going to take out the Lipard. So see a Lipard. Rap out of here. And who comes in? If it's Kyogre, it's a mistake because Swampert will get some speed then. He's going to bring in Ludicolo, though. So I'm going to protect my Swampert. I'm going to Spore the Zekrom. Just to get it asleep so I can bring in Lugia pretty nicely here. 
just to put sleep so I can bring in Lugia. And then uh, Lugia can take care of Ludicolo while Amoongus holds off the Zekrom. We've seen Protect and Draco. Oh, he Dracos again. And Tailwind from Zekrom. And he's going to Ice Beam. He just doubles into Amoongus. Very nice, very nice play. Uh, he, his Tailwind does peter out here. And I'm going to bring in Lugia. I'm going to bring in the Lugie. I'm going to Earthquake. And Lugia should live... One. I'm just going to straight up Aeroblast Ludicolo. Aeroblast on Ludi. Critical hit does a little over half. He Fusion Bolts. We do live it. And we get the Earthquake off. Which doesn't kill Zekrom, unfortunately. And Zekrom has a Citrus Berry? It did. Giga Drain's going to one-shot my poor... Uh, Swampert, and Ludi's going to be up to a point where, where Lugia can't kill it. But I can just bring in Xerneas here. And Xerneas is going to outspeed the Zekrom. So I can just go for Dazzling Gleam. And I'm going to Roost up with Lugia. Dazzling Gleam, Roost. Zekrom should not... I don't, I'm not familiar with Zekrom. It shouldn't outspeed Xerneas. 156... Um, 166, but I'm not max speed, so it might actually. He's gonna set up the Tailwind, though, as his dying effort. As, uh, Dazzling Gleam's gonna take him out. Ludicolo's going to eat that, of course, being specially defensive. He's gonna Ice Beam Lugia, but we did Roost. <sighs> he freezes. Why do we get frozen so much? It's so annoying. He's gonna bring Kyogre, so now, uh, Ludicolo's Swift Swim. I mean, I guess it's Kyogre's fast now. I guess. Um, I'm gonna protect with with uh, Xerneas. I guess to try and Aeroblast Ludicolo, but I'm frozen, and they're gonna both outspeed. He's gonna try and scald the Xerneas and Water Spout. How much does that do to Lugia? We do live. Can we thaw? <sighs> Well, we just lost because of that frickin' freeze. That's perfect. He's gonna scald and he's gonna water spout and just take us out. Perfect. Perfect! Well, we lost because of a freeze there, but we can move to the next one. And we see Xerneas Rayquaza with Clefairy and then also Ferrothorn, uh, Umbreon, and Sableye. I haven't seen Umbreon yet. But it's going to be one of those helping hand annoying Pokemon, like it usually is. So I can just lead Heatran here. Heatran will be good with Flash Cannon against Clefairy, Flash Cannon against Xerneas, Heat Wave against the Ferrothorn. And what else can we go with? Probably Amoongus. Amoongus. Could go Amoongus, or we could go Swamp. Or Lugia. And just start setting up. I'm going to go with Lugia. And then Amoongus. And Xerneas. We need Xerneas for the Umbreon and the Sableye. They're just going to be so annoying. Otherwise. And he's going to lead Ferrothorn. Oh, that was a nice Heatwave for you. And Sableye. I'm going to Heatwave. And I'm going to try and call mine with Lugia. He might just taunt me. We might fake out the Heatran too. I can see the fake out on the Heatran, so Ferrothorn... Oh, he's going to switch out Ferrothorn for Xerneas. Not exactly a switch for you. He's going to taunt Lugia. I kind of figured that was going to happen, but... Had to try it. I'm going to Heat Wave. It's going to do nice damage to both Pokemon. So I'm going to Heat Wave again, and we're going to Arrow Blast the Xerneas. Going to get as much damage off on the Xerneas when it's going to be... He swaggered, but he misses. Arrow Blast. Nice damage. Xerneas goes for that Geomancy does go for that Geomancy. And we're going to Heat Wave. Almost takes out Sableye. But unfortunately does not. Let's just go for another Heat Wave and another Arrow on Xerneas. He's going to try and Swagger and misses again. He's going to get that super effective Hidden Power Ground off, but we do a Shuck -a Berry. Arrow Blast critical hit knocks out Xerneas. Out of here, boy. And Heat Wave is going to do a nice amount of Sableye. Taking it out, actually, because of the single target. Woo, and our taunt ends at a perfect time once we take out Sableye. 
So now he's going to bring out Umbreon and Ferrothorn. So I'm going to protect here because he's going to protect his Ferrothorn. Then I'm going to call Mind with Lugia. Protect Heatran, protect Feral. No, he doesn't. I'm going to get that Calm Mind up, though. Let's Umbreon go for Foul Play onto Heatran, and Ferrothorn goes for Leech Seed onto Lugia. That'd be, that's going to be rather annoying. But I'm going to switch in the Amoongus for Heatran. And I'm just going to call mine. Call mine with Lugia again. Yep, there's the Protect. Okay, so I could have gotten him last turn. But he probably expected me to expect that. He's going to go for Foul Play and get some damage off on his own Umbreon. And Leech Seed Recovery for the Pharaoh. Now I can just Rage Powder. I can continue to call mind here. Might go for Gyro with Pharaoh, but it shouldn't take out Lugia. But he's going to have to continuously foul play my Amoongus. He's going to Swagger, though, onto the Amoongus. Okay, okay. He Power Whips Amoongus, which isn't going to do much, and it's going to get some Rocky Helmet damage. I don't know why he did that. That just seemed like a dumb play. Now I'm going to start attacking this Umbreon. I'm going to Rage Powder again, though, and then I'm going to Arrow Blast the Umbreon. He's going to protect Pharaoh this turn. I do Swagger hurt myself. And Aeroblast does a nice amount to Umbreon. And he's going to Swagger the Lugia now. He is going to Swagger the Lugia now, unfortunately. But we just continue to try and go for Rage Powder. And we're going to Aeroblast Umbreon again. Eventually we'll bring this Umbreon down. Not that we really need to bring it down. Because of... Um... Xerneas be in the back. Foul play. Did that take us out? I can't see. There's so much stuff on the screen. It looks like it did not. Um, Umbreon has leftovers, though. I'm just going to try and Giga Drain Umbreon. Actually, that's the route we're going. I'm going to Rage Powder and then Arrow Blast the Umbreon. Ends its confusion, so Rage Powder does get up. And then Arrow Blast actually takes out Umbreon, so we didn't even need the Rage Powder. He's going to Gyro Ball Lugia, taking it out. So no more Leech Seed Recovery for you, boy. And now I can just bring in Heatran. I do have Hidden Power of Fire on uh, Xerneas as well. So I'm just going to Giga Drain the Ferrothorn and Heat Wave. And Heat Wave hits and takes out Ferrothorn. Perfect. There's another win. He actually he left Uncle Fairy Rayquaza, surprisingly. I guess he was afraid of Swampert and uh, Xerneas and High Dragon, but we are going to get to fourth battle, fourth battle here, with Groudon, Cresselia, Breloom, Lipard, Xerneas, and Mawile. So Trick Room, and also Lipard, Breloom. So it's like Crest, Crest Mawile, or Crest Groudon, Breloom, Lipard, Xerneas, Lipard, Xerneas, Breloom. So Mungus is going to be good here. Also, Xerneas, um, Lugia, and Swamp. Alright, Lipard, Breloom. Lipard, Groudon, actually. And I got my little Mungus. And we got Xerneas. And then comes the mighty Groudon. I'm just going to protect with Amoongus. And Dazzling Gleam with the Xerneas. Uh, probably fake out on... He just straight up taunts Xerneas, though. Probably expecting Geomancy, but I'm not dumb. I'm just kill off the Lipard. Uh, looks like the Breloom's going to be the one with the Focus Ash. He's going to go for Eruption. It's going to do a nice amount to Xerneas. And he brings in his own Xerneas here. Um... I'm going to try and Spore his Xerneas. And I'm going to Dazzling Gleam again. He's going to go straight for the Geomancy, though. We're going to get our Dazzling Gleam off, which will bring Groudon down a little bit more. Let's we'll see if Eruption still takes out Amoongus. It does. It takes out both Pokemon. So he just got a free Geomancy there. He did take a little damage, but not enough to warrant anything. I'm going to bring in Lugia and Swampert, which is actually perfect, because Swampert's going to be in here doing his thing. I'm going to call Mind, and I'm going to Mega Evolve with Swampert and Earthquake. Uh, Xerneas is going to outspeed... I don't think Moonblast takes us out, though. Hopefully it doesn't. 
but he crits us. So we'll never know if it was going to take us out or not. Perfect, thanks. He's going to th Thunder Groudon? Are you kidding me right now? Thunder Groudon. Alright, I'm going to call mine again. He's going to Moonblast. Oh, that does so much. And it drops our special attack. Thunder shouldn't take us... Oh, eruption. Thanks for the crit. See you later. Bye. We had a chance there, but, you know. Uh, we'll go for our last battle here. Evolto, Cresselia, Terrakion, which I haven't seen. Arcanine, also haven't seen yet. Gengar and Metagross. Probably Mega Metagross. Only has one uh, restricted Pokemon. That is the Evolto, which Xerneas takes care of. Xerneas takes care of Evolto, uh, Terrakion. Kind of Metagross with the Hidden Power of Fire. Um... Oops, everything's slowing down because I'm typing. Alright. Well, we've got we've got Evolto checked with Xerneas and Terrakion. So I think we can go Xerneas and Amoongus. And then... Lugia really doesn't do anything this match. Hydreigon actually does a ton. Let's bring Hydreigon. Actually, I think it'd be better to go Amoongus Hydreigon. Amoongus Hydreigon, Xerneas, maybe Heatran? No, Swamp. Yeah, definitely Swampert. Alright, Arcanine and uh, Evoltal with Amoongus and Hydreigon. Excuse me. Does Hydreigon have Earth Power on it? I completely forget. I completely forget. I'm going to protect that we do have Earth Power. So I'm going to Earth Power this Arcanine. This could be Double Snarl. Both these Pokemon do get Snarl. Earth Power brings their, our Arcanine down quite a bit. It does have Citrus Berry. Uh, he's going to go for Heat Wave with Arcanine, though. That is resisted on my Hydreigon. He's going to get that Tailwind up. He will get the Tailwind up, though. I'm going to bring in Swampert, though. And then just Earth Power the Arcanine again. He probably snarls here with Evolto. He's gonna swagger though instead with the Arcanine, and he taunts Amoongus. But I do get the Earth Power off with Hydreigon, so down down goes the Arcanine. And what comes in here? The Metagross on a balloon. So it's not Mega Metagross. It's Mega. Uh, what's his face? Mega. What's his face? Um, I'm just gonna Ice Punch the Evolto, and I'm gonna switch Hydreigon out actually. For Amoongus. Switch Hydreigon out for Amoongus. Because I want Hydreigon not under Tailwind. So I can Dark Pulse the Metagross. Uh, I think if he had Trachyon, he would have brought it in. So his last Pokemon is probably Gengar or Cresselia. I'm going to bring in the Amoongus. Mega Swampert. He's going to Meteor Mash the Amoongus and get some Rocky Helmet damage. He's going to foul play Swampert. He's going to do a ton because, of course, we are Mega Swampert. Ice Punch isn't doing that much. Swampert, my boy. It's probably actually pretty bulky, Zerny or Evoltol, sorry. <sighs> so Swampert, I think, is going to go down here. I'm just going to try and go for an Earthquake. Actually, Earthquake won't do any damage. What am I, dumb? I'm going to try and pop the Balloon on Metagross. I'm going to try and spore the Evoltol. He tried to Zen Headbutt the Amoongus, but misses. Foul Play is going to take out the the uh, the uh, Swampert. And then we get a Sleep. Oh, it's Lum. Lum Evolto. What is this guy doing? Tailwind does peter out, so I can just bring back in the High Dragon. I can just bring back in the High Dragon. I can try and Dark Pulse the Metagross. And I'm going to try and spore the stupid Evolto again. So Voltal is just pulling, up all, pulling out all the stops. I get the Dark Pulse off onto Metagross and knock it out. And Voltal goes for Tailwind, of course. And I get the Spore off on it so it can stop being as annoying. We've only seen Tailwind and Foul Play and Taunt. So yeah, it's a very supportive Voltal. Oh, Terrakion is on his team. Well, I can just Earth Power the Terrakion. And go for Rage Powder with Amoongus. Because then he can't close combat. Yep. See ya. Uh, get some rock helmet damage. And then you get your drop. Life orb damage. 
Evil Tall takes his turn to sleep, and Earth Power is going to destroy Tracheon. See ya, buddy. Hydreigon coming through in the very last match. Now I can just Draco Meteor the Evoltal. And I guess Giga Drain it. He's going to wake up this turn, though. And he's going to Roost. So, yeah, it's a very defensive Evoltal. As opposed to a more, more offensive one, which is strange because Evoltal is more an offensive Pokemon. He's going to take a little bit of damage. Do we have Zer Yeah, we have Xerneas in the back. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm just gonna Draco again, and then Spore. He's probably, yep, he's just gonna continuously roost. Drop this Draco on him. Get the crit, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was I was just gonna bring in uh, Evol. I mean Xerneas there, and knock him out. But that's going to be the episode for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you think of the Lugia team down in the dis comments, not the description below. And we will see you next time. See ya. Hello everyone and thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to click on the links on the screen. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos as they come to your way. And if you want to go check out the GoFundMe, that'd be great too. Bye!